Hello. So I, I believe we can just start whenever and uh, it seems like the best course of action to take. So, excellent. So, I'll just uh, do some menuing. And start in three, two, one, go. So, thank you. This is Hitman Blood Money, or the game where uh, people tell me to get lost and then they have horrible accidents. <laughs> this guy over here being the first one. Actually, he's not gonna say anything, he's just gonna, he's just gonna leave. But this guy, hello. See ya. So the point of this game is to just kill a bunch of people. It's uh, usually like two or, two or three people per map that you have to kill, and the rest you must not annoy in any way. And by I know I mean, you know, kill. And right now I'm in an area where I'm not supposed to be, so I cannot be seen by anybody. And my second target's in the top level of this building. And uh, there's gonna be a sleeping guard right next to him, so I gotta be real quiet getting to him. There we go. Don't... Well, that's not a good sign. That's extremely not a good sign. But you know what? This is blood money. We're not gonna reset over something small like getting shot. <laughs> Would you guys like to give me your guns? Thank you. They are actually gonna kill me. Well, this is off to a wonderful start. There is blood. There is definitely blood. This turned out a lot more interesting than I imagined. Okay! <laughs> well, the category of this run is Silent Assassin, which means there will be no witnesses, no innocents will die by my hand, and no bodies will be found. This guy is technically still awake, by the way. What the hell? Where'd he go? Uh, what? <laughs> I guess you don't I... have to worry about him. <laughs> He's still technically a... <laughs> Let's pretend none of this happened. <laughs> the greatest thing about this is that I did blood money at ESA a few years back like 2014, I think, 2015, something like that. And I also died in the first level. So I guess I'm making this a tradition at this point. Let's, let's try this again. So this guy, he's just gonna chill over there. So I'm gonna follow him in a second. Yes, yes, I'll be on my way. You first. I mean, I wasn't gonna give up so easily with that, because in this game, technically, even though it was a complete train wreck from the beginning, it's still technically possible for me to get Sound Assassin, even with all that happening. Because uh, all of those people who I pushed over the railing, they had accidents. It's fine. It happens to anybody. So you're pretty experienced with uh, coming up with backup strats on the fly? Uh, I would hope so, but I just proved myself wrong. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's wait a bit longer before leaving. There we go. And this time they're just too focused on the gunshots to notice me running in here and... Yoink. There we go. And the sleeping guard is totally fine with all this. There we go. That's how this was supposed to go. I hope we got all the... <coughs> high quality gameplay out of the way early. <laughs> and the rest of the run can go kind of smoothly. I say kind of because... Uh, I honestly think that uh, blood money is the most fun when something goes a bit wrong and you kind of have to improvise, but that was, uh, that was a bit too much. <laughs> it's not the first time I've gotten shot by like five people there. Oh yeah, that's normal. Nothing to worry about. It's not the first time I've, I've been shot by, li by like everybody in the building, but uh, I was kind of in, out in the open when they started shooting. So I took a ton of damage early on, and that didn't help me at all. Anyway, now that we actually managed to beat the first level, 
I can uh, kind of explain the rating system real quick in this menu. So, in order to get Silent Assassin, I must have zero witnesses, no bodies found, and uh, total kills must be uh, at most as many as uh, I have uh, targets in the map. And the rest is kind of unimportant. I, mean, I can't be caught on camera, for instance, but that pretty much never comes into play. And yeah, Silent Assassin, that's what we're going for. Also, the run is New Game Plus, which doesn't really matter in most cases. There's like two missions in the entire entire game where uh, New Game Plus makes any sort of difference, this being one of them. I just decided to go with New Game Plus for this run because uh, I wanted to have those extra options. Because uh, I wanted to try out some new strats that may or may not work, as you just saw. Anyway, I'm showing this range on stage in this theater. And uh, that's going to interrupt the rehearsal, and uh, all the actors are, are going to return to their rooms. And one of the actors is my target, so it's going to be real convenient that he's going to be waiting for me there. So it's, uh, it's, it's not too great if you have to kill him while he's on the stage. There are ways to make it, but uh, I do think it's usually, it's usually better to just uh, make him go to his room. Also, I'm obviously not allowed to be here, but that's fine. People don't mind. Yes, yes, see ya. <laughs> I mean, walls in this game typically work, but that wall in particular is a special case. If you push the dude at the right angle, he just falls right through the wall and dies. Also, I just love the music in this game. It's so overly dramatic when the game is pretty much just a comedy. What's wrong, dude? Oh, he's telling some cop that... I'm a mean guy. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'll be on my way. Okay, the second target is a bit trickier. He's behind that door. And this is pretty much luck based whether I get it or not. But I'll try it anyway. You guys, look at the coin. Thank you. I'll be over here with my gun. Oh no. Oh, why did I not shoot? Dang, not quite. Somebody turned around just on the wrong moment and uh, became a witness, so. I only got professional, which is basically run, run invalid, but the route is identical whether I get professional or sound assassin in this case, so I'm just gonna keep going. Just no difference whatsoever in anything but the stats. Alright, flatline. It's one of the longest levels in the game, but uh, that's honestly mostly because there's an unskippable cutscene. Alright, so I'm gonna have to infiltrate this. Uh, rehab facility and I got unlucky. There's one NPC right there and uh, he can run into three different directions and I need him to run into anything but where he just ran. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to manipulate him with gunshots there so I can see a bit sooner which way he's running and I'm getting really unlucky. But yeah, I'm trying to get into this rehab facility and the best way to get into the most restricted area in there is to just blow shit up Well, I just healed. That's great. Oh my god, he is really not cooperating. It's a one in three chance that he goes that way, and he's done it like, what, three times in a row now? Good stuff. I appreciate this. Yeah, the gunshot is just to make him run a bit sooner. There we go. That's much better. You go that way. Alright, and now there's three people in this part of the building, and they're all gonna run out and check out the explosion. One, two, and thank you for leaving the doors open for me. So all these doors are locked. There, finally. I should have known. Ah, and this cutscene. It's uh, I feel like this might be one of my favorite levels in the game, but sadly this is like 70 seconds of unskippable cutscenes. And after this, the mission is on a timer. But yeah, the, the goal in this mission is that, well, I need to uh, fake this guy's death so that he gets taken to the morgue, and at the morgue I'll revive him, and uh, while that's going on, I'll be killing uh, this guy on screen, as well as two other guys. Only one of them is uh, required to be killed in order to complete the mission, the rest are optional. But uh, in Blood Money, it's, I guess it's a basically just a tradition to kill all the optional targets and complete all the optional objectives. 
they don't affect the rating or anything. It's just a, it's a thing thing we do. It doesn't affect the time too much anyway, especially since this mission is on timer. Do a time for a couple of donations? Yeah, probably. Uh, we have a ten dollar donation from Irvino saying kill Rosh, save the children. We also have a $5 donation from Marjana saying ESA keeps getting better every year. I love it. P.S. That Star Wars run was crazy. Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna head, up, head into the other part of the building and uh, kill the three targets. I'm not allowed to get into the building at all in my suit, but I'm gonna do it anyway. By going into this closet and being silent. Wait a second. And let's go. And all the guards are checking out the gunshots, but uh, while they're focusing on that, they just let me run through the building. Yeah, this guy did notice, actually notice me and wants to tell me to get lost. But uh, I'm in uh, what we call the Jesus room, where for some reason the NPCs just don't mind you being. It's impossible to get to this room without being uh, in a restricted area. But once you get there, everybody just stops following you. Oh, that's... Tough luck, mate. Alright, but for the next kills, I actually do need to get into that room. I need him to look away. That's good. Crouch. Do something real silent again. There we go. Oh boy, that's not a good sign. Oh boy, somebody has a gun out over there. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm still a sound assassin. Technically, they haven't seen anything. <laughs> they just saw me trespassing after hearing some gunshots, so they just jumped to conclusions. Nothing to do with what I'm doing. Pure coincidence. And yoink. That's all three targets taken care of. Now I just gotta get out of here without getting destroyed. But yeah, the great thing about the rating system in this game is that uh, you don't get witnesses for trespassing if you're in your own suit. So while disguises are supposedly a really big and important gameplay mechanic, it's usually just better to be in your own suit and uh, let people shoot you. Because it's totally okay. This should still be Sound Assassin. The alert meter is red, has been for like the last minute or so, but details. All right, just revive this guy, and we should be done. Unless somebody just runs in through the door, we get sound assassin. Excellent. There. <laughs> Went about as well as I would expect. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, a new life, one of my favorites. Alright, so I just gotta kill one target and steal his wife's necklace, which, which has a microfilm in it. Just gonna leave a mine over there for, for later use. Throw this syringe so that the front door guard picks it up. This guy. He heard that syringe fall? No visitors today. No visitors today. I'm moving along. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> All right, and first I'm gonna get the necklace by throwing this coin at this uh, ceiling over here. There we go, just a minor accident. And for the second, the actual kill, I'm gonna try something a bit, uh, bit special. Yeah, no business here, I got it, I got it. <clears throat> hey Vinny, look at me. You don't think I should be here? <laughs> And he, no, he really wants to tell me to get lost, even when I'm already out of the house. His guards don't care anymore, but he does. Also, the explosion cleared b both the front door and uh, some reinforcements are coming in. Yeah, Vinny, just stay right there. That's, that's a good spot. <laughs> uh, let's see this. Oh, now he's parking. <laughs> And the reinforcements, they know what they're doing. Just leave it the body there.
And of course, I never did anything suspicious, so it's sound assassin. Okay, this is the second level where uh, the new game plus makes a tiny bit of difference. I just want to have a better scope in my gun. All right, first, coin. So everybody in this restaurant looks away for a second, so I'm going to fire the gun over there. Which makes this guy run. He's not a target, but his, uh, his briefcase is something I need to take. I'm just going to knock him out over here. There we go. You just stay right there. Okay, she is one of the targets. I will be killing her in a second. But first, I need to distract one of the cops who's walking around here. He'll pick that up and uh, won't see these bodies. You stay there as well. Take the walkie-talkie so I know where the final target is. And take the briefcase. Let's see. So, final target is in this building over here. Alright. And for the second target... He'll be showing up in that window over there in a second. I won't actually shoot him. I mean, I will, but I'll only shoot him in the shoulder. And when I shoot him in the shoulder, he comes comes after me into this section of the level. And I can just leave a little surprise for him. Let's see, just a second. There he is. No. There we go. Wait, what? 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 Dude. Oh, there we go. He was just being slow. All right, that's fine. <laughs> just leave a couple of explosives here. There, that seems fine. And while that's going on, I'll move on to the uh, other target who's still alive in this building over here. Let's hope that the, uh, the target being slow there uh, didn't affect anything, because I need to, like... To stand still for a moment for the manipulation to work otherwise he might run like who knows where but i think it's gonna be fine oh god damn it chef don't do this dude ah this is not good Check the coin out. Good. Oh no! Oh, f I pressed the wrong key. I get a witness. Uh. Uh, no. It's so inconvenient when you have the uh, have the briefcase in your hand because the default action becomes play silver baller in the briefcase, and when you do that, people can see it, and that's not a good thing to happen. Oh well. Ah, this has not gone well. I'll try to finish it anyway, assuming the target is in where he's supposed to be. He is excellent. This has been quite a mess. Let's see. There we go, and there's the second target. And this is totally sound assassin. Totally sound assassin. There we go. <clears throat> you saw nothing. Hello, 47. Your next assignment's in the Rocky Mountains. But as said, it like the failed sound assassin runs, they look almost identical to succeeded silent assassin runs, so I'm not gonna reset if at all possible. Also, hello over there. Whoops. Yeah, that was the first target and like three other people who happened to be in the pool. For the second target, I, I can't just snipe them from the beginning of the level. I'll actually have to go into the building, shoot them, and also steal a videotape they have. And of course, they are in a heavily restricted area. But I have an SMG, so it should be easy to get in. Very silently, as always. Let's see, anybody in here? No? Ah, I was kind of hoping there would be somebody here. Alright, let's see if there's any guards. There's the guards. Hello, guys. I'll just be running through here if you don't mind. Alright. 
There's a few people in here who all want me to leave. Let's see. Get here, buddy, or there's gonna be trouble. Yes, yes. This guy was luckily in a good position. Let me just leave him there. Then the target. Oh, I sadly have to kill the dog. Because the dog is both a witness, <laughs> and uh, with this route I'm doing, he would alert the... Uh, he, he would uh, alert the guards and uh, tell tell them that there's a body over there. Okay, now there's the video tape. Great. Okay, now I hope these guys don't follow me too closely because I'm gonna be silent again. There we go. This door is locked, but somebody should open it for me. Thank you. And nobody still likes me. So I'll be on my way out. Typically people use the helicopter in this mission to leave, but... Gonna be trouble, you say? I, I like this exit, especially for marathons. You gonna tell me to get lost? No? Fine, I'll leave anyway. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, you actually do die to fall damage right there, but uh, it's all good because I hit the exit button before I die. Welcome to Mississippi for okay, this level is fairly basic. Uh, it's uh, the most interesting bit about this level, I guess, is that this level uh, or this game has some degree of randomness as far as NPC positions. It's like like one or two meters per NPC. So hello, see ya. But it's like one or two meters, but uh, it's just enough to mess things up in the second half of the level. So you always gotta improvise how it, how it plays out. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, please don't come here. Please don't come here. Ah, he's coming here. Dang. I'll actually have to, have to do this. Hello. <laughs> the best thing about that is that... Uh, it's actually beneficial to shoot him in the ass instead of the head, because if you shoot him in the head, it makes a tiny bit of sound, and somebody might hear that. Alright, and now to the random bit. There's like, four more targets. Four, five, I don't even know how many targets there are in here. But there's a bunch of them. As well as two uh, civilians who I must not kill. Alright, so I think I'm best off heading this way in this situation. I'm not seeing one of the non-targets. Let's see. Alright, I'm glad I was able to kill him while in here. Ooh. Would have been nice if he didn't shoot, because that made a bit of noise. But I don't think there's anybody in here to actually react to it. At least not quickly enough. Yeah. And I think that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. So let's just let's just get get going. There we go. And like the previous level, I do die right there. But it's all good. Doesn't matter. Because I hit the exit before right before dying. Okay. This level is a bit bugged. Like, it, it's a redneck wedding and you're supposed to be uh, allowed to have guns out. Just shoot at the air as much as you want, but uh, if you do that you still get witnesses and it's a bit counterintuitive. And uh, because of those special rules, uh, using guns can also just massively glitch out and if you use a gun and kill somebody, there's just a random chance that everybody knows that it was you and shoots you. They won't become witnesses, they'll just attack you. So, this is the first target. Yoink, there we go. So I'll try to, try to avoid using guns if at all possible. Luckily the fiber wire works pretty well. Oh, you weren't supposed to see me. Yes, yes, I'll get lost in just in a minute. Just give me a moment. And there's the second target. Yoink. The great thing about the fiber wire is that uh, if the target is uh, doing something like about to stand up or uh, 
cooking or doing some sort of special animation or, or just a, in a really tight space or on stairs, you don't get the full animation and just that happens. It's definitely one of my favorite uh, mechanics in this game. It not only does it look really dumb, it also saves time. But yeah, that's a really simple level. Let's see. House of Cards. This is definitely my least favorite one in the game because uh, uh, only one of the targets is on the map as you start playing, and uh, the second one uh, uh, appears in like two, three minutes, and the final one appears at like 5:15 or something. So you can't really do anything faster than, faster than that. So I'll I'll be going for the absolute fastest possible route to minimize the pain. It's a bit random whether it works or not, but we'll hope for the best. It's not too inconsistent, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just spam enter so you can't see the, uh, see the score. Sound good? Yep. And the plan is based around uh, just placing a bunch of explosives all, all over the place, so you, so you distract all the bodyguards I just have. for long enough so you can exit the level before uh, any bodies get found. The second target is at the moment uh, in a bar, or not, perhaps, let's see. Yeah, check, check out the coin, also check out this gun. Who doesn't want a gun? Look, look, a gun. Dude, gun. Look this way. <laughs> Dude. Hey, gorgeous. Interested in this? Thank you. Yes, that's a gun. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I actually just wanted to push him so he would uh, not pick up the gun, but knocking him out like that also works, I suppose. <laughs> and in the meantime, I think the second target is just arriving. Can't quite see him yet, but he is almost here. See any NPCs? Nope. So I can place the second, second explosion right here. And if you have any donations, announcements, anything to read, this would be a perfect time because I'll be waiting for this guy for the next moment. Uh, we definitely do. <coughs> I have a $10 donation from Uyan Rishatum saying, Greetings, Harry Man, or not Harry or not. Depends on who's asking. A new life. Run. Items. Previous item. Previous item. <laughs> select. Fire. Write. Coin. In parentheses, <laughs> Carter will get it. <laughs> I'll throw another 10 bucks if announcer won't butcher my nickname. Only four <laughs> for close enough. Yeah, that's... Um, I, I recently decided that this game is uh, too simple to be played with mouse and keyboard, so I just uh, made some voice commands to run macros, and I played a, a level with those. It's like, it took me like three minutes to get through a new life, uh, which just, just to my microphone. It was pretty fun. So this guy's really focused on the coin right now. So we'll head back to the lobby. Oops. <laughs> yeah, the, the physics in this game are kind of great. Because uh, the elevator is going down, so technically he fell a fair bit of distance right there. What happened? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you push people in, the, in elevators while the elevator is going down, they just die. On the way up, I don't think... I'm not sure if anything happens, they might just get annoyed. And if the elevator is standing still, that's pretty much uh, the usual. But like I said, the plan for this mission is to blow shit up, so I need more explosives. And luckily, the mission gives you one extra mine. There's also an optional objective. What are you guys looking at? The body is that way. <laughs> but yeah, that. There's an optional objective to retrieve a suitcase, and I'll be getting that just now. No, wait, I lied. The, the briefcase I need to get is at the moment in the elevator with the dead body. This is just, uh, this is just a place for the bomb. Just place something small in there, there we go. It's a bit annoying having to juggle two briefcases uh, in, in one map. 
it's not too bad. Yeah, just you, you take that one away. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> or, or not. Up to you, really. It's a struggle. <laughs> We're going to the lobby now, dude. <laughs> Deal with it. Oh, act oh. No, dude! <laughs> Fine, have it your way. <laughs> See ya. That just made things a bit more interesting, actually. <laughs> because now my timing is off and the, the final target has already arrived. I should be killing him right about now. So... <laughs> we will see what happens. The two mines I've set up are now completely useless. Uh, I can still do, like, an old strat that's kind of... A backup strat thing. You Good. remember it? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's real simple. Okay. Yeah. Well, remember what I said at the beginning of the game that uh, it, it's fun when things go wrong. <laughs> Best thing is that uh, usually when I practice this game, I skip this level because it's so long and boring and nothing ever happens. And now it seems like whenever I play it, something goes wrong and it's never the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so that's target. Well, that already went wrong. <laughs> yeah, 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 just don't mind me, just keep walking. Keep walking, dude. Thanks. Now you, guards, you, you stay here. <laughs> <sighs> You were supposed to look at me. <laughs> I think it's the NPC's day, not yours. <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe this time. There, you keep going, you stay here. Got it? Great, thanks. Stay. All right, and now we just hope for the best. That's the strat. <laughs> There's the mine. Please let me get out, please let me get out. Nice. <laughs> Still work. <laughs> oh my god. That was uh, great. That, that, was, that was a mission. It's over 47. I don't know how that mission manages to turn out to be so... Exciting? Sure, go go with that. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. What are you, an undertaker? Get lost. Yes, I'll get lost as soon as this camera moves out of the way. And then I'll be silent again. And all these guards by these elevators just check out the noise, don't mind me. I'll be heading this way. But yeah, there's like a heaven and hell party going on in this level. There's two targets in the heaven party and two targets in the hell party. And I'll be heading uh, heading to the heaven party first because there's a disguise there on one of my targets that gives me access to like everything in this level and it's real nice to have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Disguise is uh, actually kind of a big mechanic. Nice to bring it up like the second to last mission in the game. Hey, dude. Get out of here, buddy. There's gonna be trouble. Gonna be trouble. Yes, yes. No trespassing, fella. Get you chill right there. I'll be borrowing this. I'm just gonna leave some stuff lying around so other guards can pick that up. You take that. Enjoy. And I'll be shooting my first target through that door over there. I'll be shooting him in the leg so he doesn't die, but instead he'll just uh, start following me around. Like the target in... Uh, in one of the previous missions. There, there we go. And hacking this computer is also an optional objective, but it takes like 10 seconds and it's 
It leads me into this room with uh, with my target. Hello. Can I have your outfit? Can I please have your outfit? Thank you. Okay, then I gotta clean up the mess I made before. Because, like I said previously, uh, having bodies found will ruin your rating and I won't get Sound Assassin. And uh, this unconscious body is something that can be found. But if I just throw him over the railing without his clothes on, it's an accident and it's all good. Doesn't matter anymore if people find him. And my second target is over there. It's over there. Oh, she's heading this way. Excellent. I, I can work with this. I think. <laughs> this hasn't happened in a long time, but I think we can do something funny with this. Let's see, where is she? She's right there. I didn't... I was supposed to just kill her while she's on the stage, but turns out I only hit her um, in the shoulder or something. Sure. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I didn't see you there. Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> she was a decoy. This guy was supposed to be distracted. No! No! <laughs> oh, that is disappointing. I was hoping I could just push her over the railing, but. What are you, an undertaker? Turns out that uh, her running there just took so long that uh, the other guard uh, had enough time to come back. And uh, yeah, you know, that happened. But at least I can try again and actually maybe land the show that I'm supposed to land. Because the way that works is that uh, she's on stage singing, but uh, for some reason the stage is a blind spot. So if I just shoot her in the head while she's singing, she j dies on stage, nobody notices. And everybody's cool with that. I assume she just don't like the singing. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of the NPCs actually do complain about it. Hello. Let's try this again. No trespassing, fella. Get out. <laughs> Right, and just leave a distraction again. Let's see, where's this guard? Okay, he's not even in the hallway yet. There's, there you can also see how uh, the location of the NPCs changes just a tiny bit. Like last time he was on this hallway already. I gotta kind of adapt to that. Okay, try this again. There we go. There's a nice visual cue on the, on the wall that you know where to aim and you will always hit, hit him in the leg. You don't just blindly shoot at it and have it work. Can I have your outfit now? Please? Come on! That took a while. Here we go. As previously, we'll have to clean up this mess because there is a small chance that uh, this body just gets found when the elevator doors automatically open. No one actually uses the elevator, but uh, the doors still open when I use it. All right, try this again. I think I am hitting her. Yes, I most definitely did hit her. So maybe this time she'll come into the elevator with me. Let's see. Please come in here. Oh yes, oh yes. I'll wait for the doors to close. Excellent. <laughs> this is not how this mission usually goes, but this works. There we go. And then to the hello party. 
I'm guessing it's got something to do with like the resolution I'm playing at because I'm using a tiny bit different resolution than I usually use. So maybe my visual cue for that shot is a bit off. Or maybe I'm just bad, that's completely possible. I'm sure someone, some cash pancakes in the chat is uh, telling me that I'm aiming too high <laughs> or too low, whichever it may be. Anyway, to the hell party. Let's all look at the map real quick. All right, so the second target is on uh, on the dance floor. I'm gonna have to talk to both of them to make uh, make them move to the places where I want them to be. Sometimes I could use an accident kill uh, on the second target, but she's in a really bad spot right now for that. So let me just do this instead. Oh, she actually won't talk to me on, over here. That's unfortunate. Oh well, just means I'm gonna have to wait for her to come up. Ah. Shouldn't be too long. Yeah, she's already on her way. That's good. Hi. Alright, I'll be killing her first. They're both gonna be in the right positions pretty much at the same time. But it's gonna be tricky to kill her if uh, uh, she are. gets too far into this room. This one right here is supposed to be like a boss fight type of thing. Which really fits Hitman super, super well. You stay, stay there. But yeah, I'm gonna skip the boss fight by throwing a coin. Let's see. Well, there's a lot of people there. I don't really like that, but I guess we can work with it. Okay, everybody, look at the coin. All of you. That includes you. Alright. Great. Now don't mind me. Normally there's a cutscene right there that uh, initiates the fight, but he's just too focused on the coin, so I can just shoot him in the leg. And he doesn't know it was me who shot him in the leg, so it's all good. Yeah, what happened? Oh yeah, great ractals. <laughs> but yeah, the, the fight takes like, uh, I'm guessing it's like a full minute that I save by just shooting in the lake like that. I mean, there are other ways to kill him and uh, skip, skipping the fight, but uh, I quite like that one. The coin is pretty great. Yeah, the, the coin is incredibly strong in this game. All right, and one more objective to complete so I can get Sound Assassin. Oh, hello. <laughs> Forget about that. I need to exit in my own suit, otherwise I won't get Sound Assassin. Ow. That's fine. That's totally fine. Just getting shot, like I said, doesn't really matter. It's all good. <laughs> okay, final proper mission of the game. Let's see how this one goes. It's the White House. You girls, look at the coin. Thank you. You guard, check out the syringe. Thank you. No one has to get hurt here. Just how to infiltrate the White House? Just poke the first guard you see, and you're in. Okay, the White House has a ton of security cameras, so I'm actually gonna just disable them right away. In most other levels, uh, there's like maybe three cameras overall, and they're all easy to avoid, but here they actually block the paths very well. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. Just a gunshot. Okay, so the targets are the vice president and uh, some other assassin dude who's out to kill somebody. <laughs> and we're gonna start by killing the vice president. Hi there. Is waiting for her walk. Yoink. <laughs> Just stay there. It's actually really important that I use the fiber wire to kill him, because uh, if I shoot him, there's gonna be blood. And his wife eventually goes into the room, sees the blood, and alerts the guards. And the, the body gets found. But if I just strangle him, the wife goes into the room and just looks at the body. And it gets stuck there. Oh, 
here. <laughs> that guy isn't even in the way, I just like doing that. <laughs> Alright. For the other assassin. I'm gonna try to kill him through this wall. With those mines. This is a bit random. I hope it works. I really do, because I'm going overestimate if it doesn't. <laughs> there were some pretty nice levels in this run. Oh, shit. Let's see. Right there. Nice, I got it. There's, there is a chance that somebody just runs into the uh, room he's in and finds the body, but uh, the way I place the mines, it should be pretty unlikely. And it's just possible to just uh, throw the mine through the window, because the window is poorly made. And kill him like that, but that way you are guaranteed to have a body found, and no sound assassin for you. But this time it worked out, so that's good. So it, it skips like the entire second half of this mission. All right. Get my own suit back, and we'll be on our way. Nice. All right, one more mission, which is kind of an epilogue thing. It's a complete shootout, doesn't fit the game at all, but I kind of like it. I'm actually gonna intentionally let them kill me, so I go into slow motion with infinite ammo. Otherwise I would have to reload, and that's not good. But when I get three headshots while in that mode, I actually get like one HP back, and I can keep going. Let's see. Alright. So, the great thing about this mission is that the wheelchair is a witness. And the only way to kill the wheelchair is to use the stairs. <laughs> it's great because this mission doesn't actually give you a rating, so it doesn't matter at all. It's just that uh, there is an external statistic tracker for the game, and we because of that, we discovered that there's always some random witness in this level. How's that possible? Oh, oh no, oh no, he's aggroed. Oof, that was close. But yeah, because of that, he's, uh, like, we, we just knew that there's that one witness. Where the, where the hell is that coming from? And eventually, I just randomly responded to a YouTube comment that it could be the wheel wheelchair for all I know. And then someone tested it and turned out that, yeah, the wheelchair is the witness. So I started killing the wheelchair just for fun. <laughs> and... There. No. Oh my god, that is slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, that was blood money. Kinda silent-ish assassin-ish. <laughs> but yeah, that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that slight train break. <laughs> and up next is, I believe, some quake. Yep. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's Standing. cake. Oh, it's cake. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have a ten forty-seven dollar donation uh, from Piximax saying Hitman Season Two. Uh, but for the seven can only yummy yummy. Hi, Kari. Torilla Tavatan. Run the choice. Screaming internally. Or in internally. <laughs> no, I'll keep it. 